So here, I've got eight important Feynman diagrams for you to learn. So let's start with the first one. Diagram one represents the strong interaction. A proton and a neutron are attracted together by the exchange of a neutral pion, pi naught. Diagram two represents the electromagnetic interaction. Two electrons repel each other by the exchange of a virtual photon. So two electrons come in by means of the gamma, which is virtual photon, they repel each other in the opposite direction. Diagram three represents beta minus decay. A neutron decays due to the weak interaction into a proton, an electron and an anti-electron neutrino, okay? It's beta minus because an electron is emitted, okay? It's a negative charge, E minus. On the other hand, diagram four represents beta plus decay. A proton decays into a neutron, a positron and an electron neutrino, okay? Diagram five represents electron capture. A proton captures an electron and becomes a neutron and an electron neutrino. Diagram six represents a neutrino neutron collision. A neutron absorbs the neutrino and forms a proton and an electron. Diagram seven, just move that up. Diagram seven represents an anti neutrino proton collision. A proton absorbs an antineutrino and emits a neutron and a positron. Finally, diagram 8 represents electron-proton collision. They collide and emit a neutron and electron neutrino. So the aspect of Feynman diagrams that students often struggle with is labelling the exchange particle and the direction to draw it. So look at what you start with. If a positive and becomes neutral, you can think of it as throwing away its positive charge so the boson will be um, positive. Okay, This is the case in electron capture, like we have here. Right? If it is positive and becomes neutral, you can think of it as gaining negative to neutralise it, so the boson will be negative. This is the case in electron-proton collision, like we have here. If it is neutral and becomes positive, we can think of it either as gaining positive W plus boson or losing negative. Okay, so there's eight very important final diagrams for you to learn for A-level physics. And I hope to see you in the next video.